Hello and welcome. Talk about to the wire. I was still putting the lid on my Posca pen. Um, now it is wonderful to have your company. This is a brand new one day special and I am absolutely thrilled. We are talking about Pentart. Oh my word. <laughs> You've got so many products, bear with. I'm losing my air band, it's that exciting. Um, right, we have got so many products. The One Day Special itself is fabulous. Get on the website because you've loads of different products. You've also bigger products or more of, of this. So if you just want separates, if you just want singles, then please have a look on the website. But I'm going to take you through the One Day Special, what you've got in it. Um, okay, so first of all, you've got crackle mediums. Now, you've actually got two different types of crackle medium. You've got your micro crackle medium. Now, this will give you, then if you look on there, you can see, can you see how very fine that is? Really fine crackle medium, which is amazing. Um, you can go on loads of different products. You can even go on glass with that. Can you see the crackle on that? Honestly, it's well good. So you've got your crackle medium. So that's your fine. It's a two-part crackle medium, really easy to apply. Um, and obviously with that, because you can put it on all sorts, you can even put it on paper and things like that. So you've got your crackle medium. That's your first one. Um, we've then got, now this is interesting. I haven't tried, oh, I forgot my expanding paste did dip behind there. This is well good. Expanding paste. So this, it, it looks like, you want your normal pace, okay? But put it on fabric. Look at this, right? You put it on fabric, fabric. You let it dry, and then when it's dry, you heat it, and it just expands. But look at that. The texture on that is fabulous. You'd be able to sew through that. You'd be able to use that in your art journals because it's not sticky afterwards. Maybe on your canvases. I absolutely love it. But look, and I do apologise. The, the samples are all bits and bobs that I've been playing with as opposed to finished samples. But there's been a lot to do. You can even stamp with it. And it just gives you a really nice textural finish because it feels... I don't know, it feels really interesting. You can put it on all sorts, you can put it on wood, you can put it on painted surfaces, and obviously something like that you can colour tint, you can do all sorts with, but it does feel, I mean, that feels this. And when you first do it, you don't think it's gonna work, and then all of a sudden it goes whoop, and it, oh, it's well good. I'm gonna demonstrate that one. So that's brilliant. Um, so you've got your expanding paste. Now, as I said, look on the website. So if there's one of these you fancy on its own, um, then you can go for it. You know, that's the beautiful thing about this one day special. We've got loads of them individual and I love that because if you don't want to go for the full lot, at least you've got loads of choices. Now, the next thing that you've got is a bonding primer. Now, this is brilliant. Um, if, if you want this for your furniture, we have got a massive tub. That is a massive tub at the bottom. Now, why I like this, how many times have you got maybe tin or maybe glass or maybe something that's rusted? Then you think, I'm not going to be able to, to upcycle that. Put this on. Now, Pentop manufactured this. They put it through loads of tests in their, um, in their own labs and it was independently tested as well. Um, and they did find that using this, you do get a better result. Um, and, well, I'll show you. I haven't finished this, right? So it is very much work in progress. So this was basically a, long, a, a tin that I've had for ages. And it has a little shelf on it. You put all your kitchen stuff. It, when I got it, it was cute. I liked it. I mean, this isn't the, you know, it's got dots on it. I've put the, the stuff on it, uh, so it makes it white. But you can see it very, very pretty. I, that's not me anymore. It's not me anymore. This is more me. <laughs> Yay! But but this is absolutely work in progress. So do excuse me, I haven't finished it yet, but I'm having a lovely time. I've used the primer. Now you put two coats of your primer on, but then you can put your paint on it. It's even got an anti-corrosion um, agent in there as well, so it's going to help things stop rusting. It's cool, is that? If you're into your mixed media, if you're into upcycling, even if you just want to, you know, to to uh, paint embellishments, maybe glass or acrylic embellishments, you know, that is the stuff to go for. Absolutely fabulous. I love, love one day specials like this. 
because there's so many products to have a go with. It's a good play um, product selection, isn't it? Now, the next one, this is lovely. Let me see, I might have to open this one for you. Look at this. These are real life proper minerals. So it feels beautiful, does this? I might tip some out into, um, I might tip some out just onto the surface, in fact. Look at that, can you see how uber fine they are? But because it's natural mineral, because that is a real life mineral, in fact, let's put it, oh, I don't know. I'll let, I'll, yeah, I'll let Kirsty deal with that later because it needs to be out, but it just, but anyway, but it just looks rubbish just poured on the table, doesn't it? But look, it's really nice. It's really textured because it's a proper mineral. Because it's a proper mineral, you've got some of that, the natural sort of shine to it. Now, what I do love about this, you can mix it with all sorts of different products. So here, hopefully, that's still drying. So I've mixed it with a texture paste. The texture paste is still drying, obviously, because I've been working like a fool today. So some of the things are still drying. So where it's a bit um, milky, there, it kind of looks like mould, doesn't it? You know, when it starts going a bit mildewy, it's not. It's just texture paste, it hasn't dried yet. This bit has dried. So there you're just seeing the mineral. So you can just use it as is, mix it with loads of different texture paste. You can put it through your stencils. And I love that, it just looks so natural. And the texture is gorgeous. It feels like um, pumice stone on this one. Can you see this one? Now this will be a bit trickier to see. It's more of a texture thing is this, but it's all over here. So actually I've put it everywhere, but because I've mixed it with the, um, the what did I mix it with? I mixed it with, oh, I can't remember. Gel medium, matte gel medium. Your gel medium um, absolutely disappears. And then you're just left with that beautiful, beautiful mineral. It's absolutely gorgeous. You, that will last you ages, actually. It's a really nice big pot, is that one. You've then got your heavy body gel. Now, your heavy body gel is an absolute essential. We've all used heavy body gel. It's one of those that you, you need. It's just a, a must have. And I've put it next to this one, but that's the wrong one, really. Um, everybody gel is something you can mix with your mineral powders. You can do all sorts with it. And I'll, obviously, I'll be using that throughout. It's a good adhesive as well, though, is your heavy body gel. Really, really recommend that for everybody's stash. It's an essential. Next, gesso. Absolute essential again. But this is a really nice thick gesso, and that is actually what I have done with that. So I've put it on um, just a piece of card. I've made marks into it, but then I've used the media inks, which are an alcohol-based ink. I love the inks. These are seriously cool. Um, your gesso, I've also, that's also just your good old white gesso and then the media inks. And do you know what that is? Just a regular cardboard box. But because it's got the media inks on, doesn't it look cool? That's a regular, and I'll show you because I haven't finished it. Look, regular cardboard box. But I just thought, it's funny actually, last night when I did this, and um, I, show, I were doing it, I said to Ben, that looks rubbish. But when you put the inks on, it's like, wow, that looks so cool. And it's just gesso, but it is a really nice gesso. It's got a really good body to it. Again, it's a, it's a strong gesso, so that will also hold embellishments and things. Now, as I said, we've got two crackle glazers. This is your other crackle glaze. Now, this is beautiful. This one gives you the look of fine porcelain. So it crackles. Can you see how fine those crackles are? Absolutely gorgeous. And again, with something like that, you can put that onto so many different surfaces. I've got another one actually that I forgot I put it onto. Um, but that is absolutely beautiful. I haven't waxed it yet, so I'll have to do that later. We've then got, now these are really cool as well. So you've got three different pens. The first one is our wonderful modeling paste. Now, we have sold this so many times. Um, it is available in two pots and honestly, it flies out every single time we've got it because this is the stuff that lets us do this. So we've got these molds on the show as well. Look at that. That is your modeling paste. And look at that. I mean, look at that mold. How beautiful is that? 
That's what modelling paste does, and that's why it flies out time after time after time. Um, in fact, it's already been seen modelling paste, only £10.99. pence. We have got, that's the other mould that's on the show. So if you're loving that detail, then do check those moulds out. So yeah, the moulding paste is amazing. Now, because it comes in a pen, it allows for different applications. And I'll talk about that when I get to demo. Um, okay, then we've got the last two in this one or your ice and snow pens. Now these are lovely, because again, you can be very specific with your application, but these will give you that really nice frosted look. This is just normal glass, but all you do, you go over with your frost and your ice, then it gives you that beautiful frosty look. Obviously it goes on glass. This is what I love about Pentart. You can go on so many surfaces. It takes a lot of work to read up and to remember all the different surfaces, but you have to experiment. This is the other one as well. So with that, you can see I've um, stenciled and then just stenciled with the paint that we've got on the show, but then gone over with crystal and then with the snow. So crystal gives you more of that. Can you see it's really subtle? It just looks like ice, basically. And the way the, the, you know, the light jumps off ice, whereas the snow, the snow is, um, it's still got that really subtle sparkle, but it's richer, so it's whiter. And it hasn't got, um, it's not as clear, so you don't see through it as much, but they work together beautifully. Um, so many things to talk about. There's so many things you can do with every single product on this show. Um, that, that, sorry, is um, your, your thingy as well, thingy. There's going to be a lot of thingies in this hour. Uh, this morning I spent half an hour just looking for my purse. Um, there's a lot of thingies. Light modelling paste. That's your light modelling paste with the media inks. How cool does that look? I absolutely adore that. And look, your crackle. So this is your micro crackle. <laughs> micro crackle. Micro crackle. Um, that's your micro crackle. <laughs> Not saying it again. <laughs> I'm so pleased I can't make a rude word out of that because by now we'd have been doomed I'd have said it twice, wouldn't I? Phew! Um, but, so this is just like your normal paper. But what I love about the micro crackle, it will go on paper. So you don't need, with the other one, you need a prime surface. But with the micro, um, and can you see, when you're getting proper close, you, can, you, have to, you have to sort of be in there close for that, because the detail, can we see? Do -do -do -do. Here we come, there. So you can see all the way, you can see some up there. That isn't micro crackle, that's just normal crackle place. That's your micro. You can see it here, you've got micro. Look on the paper. What I love about this, it makes your paper look more finished. It gives it a really beautiful, rich glaze. So it does look, even when the bits that don't sort of crackle, they look fantastic. And if I just move down, you can see it on the frame. You know, it's crackled down the frame. You can see it as we go down the paper, all down the paper there, all the beautiful crackling on the door. I love this because it doesn't take away from the actual design. It doesn't mask the design. It doesn't, you know, it's not like you can't see your paper anymore. You can absolutely see your paper, but it just gives it such a beautiful finish. So that one's a micro. There's so much to learn about these products. What I definitely suggest you do, Get hold of your one day special, but then take your time. There's lots and lots and lots of educational videos on the website, well not ours, on Pentart's website. They've got a YouTube channel and they've got loads and loads of education for these products. Um, and then just experiment. It's one of those, you need time, you need drying time, but you need experiment time because they are such good fun. It's cracking that. Oh, it's busy. I were nervous, you know, because it's like, Oh, I hope they'll like it, because there's loads of stuff, and I don't know if I've done enough, but 15% of the stock has gone. You're loving it. It's Pentar, isn't it? Um, okay, it's going out for you on the 28th of this month, um, so do not miss out on these. It is brilliant. I love Pentar. They're such a good company. Um, okay, 234-445 is your item number. I love them because they're such... Um, they're, they're, they're just magical. Sorry, I'm moving, aren't I? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm off whilst talking. Um, I'm loving because they're really passionate about their their um, their jobs. They're producing stuff. And um, obviously, the the dad who started the whole company is still. When we went to Frankfurt, he was there, and he was still so passionate. And I love it because the family's running it now, but he's he's still got his finger on the pulse, and he loves the products. I mean, genuinely loves the products and gets really excited. And I, I think that's fabulous, isn't it? You know, when the owner still loves it and has that passion, you know, they're not just doing it to make tons of money. They actually love their products. And I think that, um, I, I like that, it's nice. <laughs> okay, I like these too. Um, media inks, oh man, I forgot how good alcohol inks were to play with. Alcohol inks are seriously addictive to play with. And once I started messing about with these, I mean, you can tell I've been messing about quite a lot because my hands, they're, they're <laughs> trying to get my contact lens in today was vile. Um, so these are alcohol inks, but they are beautiful. I love the bottle because the bottle, and I should have done a swatch, but I, I have seriously run out of time. By tomorrow, I'll have a swatch. Um, as long as it's stock. But I like the bottle, so you don't need to have a sponge applicator or anything like that. You can use the bottle. So what we've got here, your different colours. Now, oh, for starters, you have got your dilutant. Now, I love this. You've got two different options, both options. You have got a dilutant. You'll want that. That allows you to, to knock the colour back a bit. But it's not like with other alcohol inks where when you add the dilutant, it kind of pushes the alcohol inks away. It doesn't. It kind of gets them to blend, which is really interesting. So it's a really nice way of working with the inks. And then let me go through the colours in this first one. So what you've got in here are, so this could be different. Oh, that's your apricot. You've got, can I tell, I'm gonna have to pick them up and read them to you folks. So you've got white coffee. Um, this one is, it's turned around in its tub. So that one is, I don't know. I should have took them out of the packaging. It needs to come out of the packaging anyway because the packaging's all shiny. That's your silver. Um, you've then got at the bottom, uh, shall I pick these up as well? So we've got bronze. You've also got, oh, Kirsten, would we be able to take them out of the packaging after? Gold, and then we've got apricot. Now, the gold, the bronze, and the silver, metallics. Metallics that you are adding to your alcohol inks. I mean, that will give you that beautiful burst of colour. Highly recommend these. They're absolutely beautiful. That's your first option. And that's collection one. Collection two. So that's kind of your, you know, your, your metallic. So that's kind of the, the shiny bit. These are the colours. So these are your real... I, I must admit, if I were only going for one option, it'd be this option. Because you'd want a pop of colour. And then you'd add your metallics to that. So that'd be, if you can only go for one, that's the way I'd do it. If you're going for both... I mean, obviously, the way I do it is have all of it, obviously, because I'm greedy. But if you can only go for one, this is my, my the, the recommendation. So in this one, now, if we get closer, I'll be able to read them. Is that all right? Here we go. So we've got the dilutant again. We've then got your turquoise. You've got your jade. Absolutely gorgeous. I love those two. And then at the bottom, we will have... I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. I know. Do... Building it up. Um, red wine. Oh, and then the other two. So there's ginger and there's tangerine. Thank you very much indeed. So, um, yeah. So there you go. I mean, have a look at that. How beautiful is that? And that is just on white gesso. So when you think about it, if you put these on your white gesso, if you put them on Upo paper, if you put them on metal, they will go on glass. I am so looking forward to playing with these. I mean, I want to play. Do, if you could, don't buy these because I need these to last at least until tomorrow. <laughs> um, and then I can play with them. And that, as I said, that's on, sorry, I have written that. Um, that's on my, um, your dude, I what's it? that I was talking about before. <laughs> um, okay, 10% of which, the second collection. Yeah, you are going for that one. 10% second collection has gone. I'm gonna play. Uh, 15 pounds and 99 pence for each collection. The choice is yours. 734-139 is your item number. Right, please check that website out. We've got loads of stuff. The modeling paste is, of course, flying. I mean, a quarter of the stock has already gone. They always sell out of these. Um, it's amazing. Do you know what I want to try this way? And I haven't had a chance, but 
I want to try it with, um, you know, a piping bag for cake decorating because I reckon it's the right consistency to go in a paper, in a, in a paper bag. Don't put it in a paper bag. In, um, in a bag for, for cake moulding. And I think with something like that, I mean, I don't know what it'll do. I don't know if it'll dip in the mould, but I'd absolutely give it a go. Do not miss out on that. Give it a go. Um, only £10.99 as well is your price if you do want to get hold of that one. Um, the crackles. Oh, I love the crackle glazers. Crackle glaze is like just so cool, isn't it? Um, if you want the crackle glazes, they're only £10.99. Um, 40, oh good grief, 40% of the stock has gone there. Um, check your basket out with that one. 829-961 is your item number. We've also got those wonderful moulds. Now you're getting a lot of moulds and I haven't had time to play with these as much as I want. I really want to play with that frame one. That frame one looks amazing. I'd use, I wouldn't use my, um, the stuff we've got on today with the frame. I'd use your air dry clay with that. But I tell you, that'll be absolutely gorgeous. And obviously you've seen the, the other moulds, they're beautiful. 20 pounds and 99 pence for those. 183383. Okay. Oh, the alcohol inks, are they flying? Right, I'm gonna change my demo. Okay. Oh, but Jesus. Right, okay, I'm probably not allowed to say that. 20% um, of what? Sorry, Ross. 20% of collection one and a third of collection two has gone. Now, just because of the way they are flying, I am going to change my demonstration. I wasn't going to demonstrate these, first of all. I was going to demonstrate... Um, I was going to demonstrate the one day special, obviously, but I'm worried about this stock of this and I do not want to not be able to demonstrate this product because I love them. So let's let's mix it up a little bit. Um, and that's the beautiful thing about having all these products, isn't it? I'm very lucky I am I have got that option of mixing things up. Oh, my life today. <laughs> I've, I've, it's been a bit of a sweary day today, I'm not going to lie. I've, I've sworn a lot because I keep not being able to find things and twitching. <sighs> but it's OK. I'm all calm now. Right, so, bottle. So, um, they work on glass, obviously. They work on acetate. So I've got acetate underneath because they work on glass. They work on Newport paper. Um, they'll work on, now this they'll definitely work on. Um, and it is, let me tell you what this is because I always forget what it is. We have got it, our Maggie brings it in. It's a Duralar, so they'll work on the Duralar as well. So experiment, I mean, they'll work on all sorts, you pour paper, they'll work on um, everything. It's it Because they're um, alcohol ink, it's solvent based. Um, and because it's an alcohol ink, it means you can do so much with it. Okay, so easy peasy, easy but fun so take um take a glass jar i mean i were lucky i found these but i mean you can use any glass jars just upcycle and what i'm going to start doing is spilling it along everywhere so just get a few colors out first of all now when you're actually using these don't leave the lids off too long alcohol based product which means obviously if you leave the lids off too long they will absolutely evaporate so don't do that too much but let's start just stripping some of the ink down. Now, what I love about these is the way they'll blend, they'll move, they'll give you so many different looks. Because I'm working on glass, now I don't know if you'll be able to see this as well as I can, but have a look how they start to blend. So you've got all these beautiful colors. What's gorgeous about these is that the way they dry is so quick, but how you can then still change it. So it means, can you see that already? That actually looks a bit scary, doesn't it? So let's... <laughs> let's cheek a bit Halloween. Right, but look, you can still layer. So start layering colour on. Look. And now you adore this. Now this is really nice. The applicator is fabulous because the applicator really allows you to be quite specific where you're putting it. And you don't need to worry about um, the right felt. And it, they do, I find they do work differently to the other alcohol inks that I've had. Look at the way they say, oh, I shouldn't have done glass, first of all. Can you see the way it's going there, which looks beautiful? Let me put um, white card behind it. I wonder if that helps. 
Yeah, that helps. There you go. I'm getting a beautiful puddle down here. And I mean, this is another thing. I'm working on a paper that I know they'll work on. So it means I'm not wasting anything as ever. So keep going, keep going. This is just beautiful. Um, yeah, you do need to protect the website for information. Obviously, um, it is a solvent-based product, um, so please make sure you're working in all the right conditions to actually use them. But it is all on the website, so do have a little look on there. What? Oh, half of the stock has gone. And I'm being really quick. You'll take your time. If you are making Halloween jars, <laughs> that's the one in it. Halloween jars straight away. Uh, but if you're not, then you add your blue one. Like so. And I, I'm, I love it because it's so quick and so easy. I'm not wasting any because I'm going to make something else at the bottom there. And I'm moving it. And what you can do as well, because you've got your dilutant, with this down here on my um, on my paper down there, because that's the dilutant I haven't opened yet, because I have got my dilutant, it means on here I can start bringing the dilutant in and it'll start mixing those colours. So see, it's not... Can you see you've got it sort of moving? But I can move those colours around. Let me just show you. Look how I can start making those colours move. Isn't that fabulous? I love these. Look at that. Look how they start moving. And the dilutant really allows you to do that. So if, like on here, I will go back to my glass in a minute. But look at that. It's well cool. Now, on something like this, obviously, I love it because already, for me, I just think that already looks like a piece of art. Do you know what I mean? You've got texture in there. You've got all sorts going on. Let me go back to my little glass jar because this is really just a, a sort of a, a little extra, if you will. Now, I am going to put my lid back on the one I'm not using because I'm not using my, my jade at the moment. I'm using the turquoise and the red. And I'm only using the two colours at the minute. But you can use as many colours as you want, but these are both in collection too. And I will put some gold on here as well. Now with the gold, well with all the, um, the thingy colours, the uh, metallics, they do need, and I'm gonna put a little bit of the dilutant here as well. So your dilutant, even when they're dry, can you see, I can still get it to move. Your dilutant will be, if, if you don't like something, you can clean it off with your dilutant. So if you make a mesh, you can clean it. If you want your colours, and actually I haven't got, oh, might work with that sponge. If you've got um, a sponge, you can actually, look, with your dilutant, you can kind of sponge those colours on as well. Now, can you see that there? Can you see how that goes? Let me put the white card behind. I didn't think this one through really, did I? Look at that. How cool is that? I love, love, love those colours. Don't they look fabulous? It's um, it's just so unusual. I absolutely adore the way it kind of, it all starts to, to merge, all those colours start to merge together. If I bring in another colour as well, like this, and this time, just letting it shift round, just scooching round like this. And then bringing some more of the dilutant in, like so. I do. I hope. I hope. I don't know if we'll be able to get any more stock, but if they do sell out, I hope we can, because this is the kind of thing that um, I want to play with all day. It's so funny because you do when you've like not played with something for yonks, and then you find it again. It's like you know a kid with a, a new toy again. It's like, oh my gosh, I forgot how much fun these were. And I'm, I'm now, you forget you're on TV. So I do apologise if I'm not really telling you what I'm doing. All I'm doing now, so I'm adding the apricot now. I'm also adding the dilutant. The dilutant will start to move those colours. The dilutant is absolutely essential. I'm so pleased it's in with the kit. Because sometimes when you get alcohol inks, you don't get the... the 
the sort of blender or the dilutant. Oh, I love that. See, when that's got light in it, that will look phenomenal. Look at that. How cool is that? I like all the different patterns. I like how sometimes you've got the, you know, the, the runs in there, whereas sometimes you've got sort of the, the blobs and sometimes it's really thick and then others it's really washy. Absolutely adore that. Now, I'm happy with that. See, for me, for me, that, I'd leave that just as is. You've then got that beautiful piece of paper there. Now, something like this, obviously, you can, again, start to move it. So if I get that sponge again, and you can use a sponge, you don't have to use um, the bottles if you don't want to. It's just they do make it quite good fun. So if I add a little bit more of the, the blue, and make it into a bit of a thing now. Now, what I will do is show you some of this gold, because the gold, I think once you see the gold and the silver, that is when you'll probably sort of go, oh my gosh, yeah, they're a bit beautiful too. And look, I mean, the thing is we our colleagues, look, when you put one inside the, like when you drop them in, it's when they start to move. Oh, they're so good. Isn't that fabulous? And it's like, um, Look at that. They just give you so many beautiful colours. Look at them. Aren't they ace? I mean, it's funny, actually, because alcohol inks, you know, we're, we're, we're heavily into pouring at the minute, but alcohol inks give you that kind of, that really strange effect where they just keep moving and blending and, and reacting and just, oh, they're fab. And all I'm doing is dropping one into another and that is it. I've got that beautiful background anyway that's created just from the, the waste. I will pop my lids on. I won't uh, forget to pop my lids on and I'll try not to lose my lids like that. Now, let's get these out. So you've got your gold, you've got silver and you've got bronze. Let me find my bronze. Come here, there, okay. It is so busy. 40% of collection one. That's with the bronze and the silver and the gold. Um, collection two is 60. These are flying out the door. Right, you need to give these a good shake. They have got a little metal ball burning in that you can hear. Ding, ding, ding. Um, because they have got the, the powders stuck at the bottom there. So you really need to mix these up. Okay because you want that gold or the silver, whichever you're using, to really come through. Right, okay. Now what, oh, just spilled a bit there already, because look at that. Can you see that sparkle straight away? <laughs> cups, lovely cups. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. And as it goes on, it's just magic. I don't know if that looks as good as it looks for me. I don't think it does. I wonder, I wonder, if I go on to the camera, will you be able to see it better onto the camera? Oh, man, it's just so cool. The way it just look, there it is. Honestly, they're so beautiful. Those colours are so beautiful. That gold is amazing. At the minute, it just looks like it's living. It's just all sparkling. It will obviously settle. So once the alcohol's evaporated, it will settle. These are so addictive. They really are good fun. Let's put some on my jar and see what it does. Then again, oh man, can you see that? Now you'll be able to see that on my jar. Look at that. Now, again, with the gold, you've got your gold. You've got, I'm going to get carried away with this now, aren't I? I can tell I'll cover it all with just the gold. But you can put your dilutant on. So, of course, with something like this, if you want it to mix a little bit more than I am doing, you can do that. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Oh, that looks sensational. Now, let me see. Um, let's see. Can you see that? Look at that colour. That has made it into the most beautiful, warm colour. And that's adding the gold. That makes it look divine. Absolutely divine. Oh, I hope you can... I don't know if you can see that as good as I can. Let me pop that there for you. That gold is beautiful. It really is beautiful. It just gives you such a warm 
yeah you can see it at the bottom there i think it just gives such a warm finish see i just love that now it's up to you you can go as far as you want with this you can stop you can sponge it on you can obviously put it onto loads of different surfaces you can use it in all your paper crafting i'm not going to add any more to that you can use it in all your stamping there's loads you can do with this shall i get this tidied up um Right, if you do, oh, it'll go on metal. Like I've got the metal lid, it'll absolutely go on the metal. Shall I just show you that just quickly, quickly? So, because I've got my base there, and then, so say I wanted to, with the lid, I'll go with the turquoise again. So, look. So just put a little bit there like that. And then what I am going to do is get my sponge for this one. So get my sponge. Now you'd use felt for this, not this, because this sponge it's going to just seep it all up. We haven't got a felt sponge, so it's beautiful on metal. Highly recommend using it on metal. It's so cool. Try it on Miracard. It looks really cool on Miracard. And in a bit of the red now, as well. And then right, let's just see if when I put the red down. Let me see if I add the gold, if you'll be able to see it. And what, I can't tip it forward because it'll all run off. But let me just see with the gold. Right, let me, that's kind of like that. And watch the gold. <laughs> and you will get sound effects when you do it at home. <laughs> oh gosh. See, I'll take photos of this after so you can see it proper because that color is the best colour on earth. But I mean, I know that's a big statement, but it does look absolutely beautiful. And it is, it's better than anything else in the world. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm always gutted that you can't, oh, you can see it pretty well though, can't you? Oh, it's delicious. Let me just add some more of the blue. You'll get proper addicted to this. And then I'll put a bit of blue there. Psh, do you see that? And it pops, watch. Psh. Well, cool. Oh, I just want to play with this all day. <laughs> you have to get this. It's ace. Does everybody else want to play with this now? Watch this. Ace. I wonder what it looked like on your van. <laughs> oh, now I am talking to Anna, obviously. <laughs> so cool. You just have to turn the van on its side, though. That bit problem. <laughs> I would take the panels off and do them separate. Can you imagine, though? I mean, that, that is, yeah. Tomorrow I'll be doing the Sprinter van. Isn't that, oh my word, you can see those colours. How good is that? And it'll dry. It'll dry with those beautiful colours. Look at the way it just moves. Isn't that just fabulous? Let it dry, the alcohol will all evaporate, all those, that blend, that beautiful blend will stay. I'm gonna pop that on there and hopefully that will be dry by the time um, you come back to me. I mean, the bottle, that's nearly already dry. The glass jar is already nearly dry. Um, I'd put over the top of there then, I would actually put um, a glaze uh, to protect it, but how gorgeous is that? Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Um, right, please, please, please check your baskets out. It is very, very busy indeed. Um, we have got, what What bit is it? Sorry, Ross. Taxi! Um, okay, if you're spending six pounds or over, how easy is that today? Um, you can split your cost into Flexi. Here's more about it. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, 
making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Yes, spread the cost with your Flexi Order now. Leonie's getting ready for another demonstration, but you are shopping ahead. This is a great starter kit in, in a way of trying lots of different elements uh, and introducing to perhaps some new agents that you hadn't had a go with. So let's take you through 10 of these amazing Pentart mediums. So if we start uh, around the bottom here, here you've got that beautiful micro crackle that Leonie was talking about. It's a two part medium, one and two. So it really creates that really, really fine crackle. I loved it on those uh, little cameo pictures or on the frames. It was like looking at some ancient jewellery on paper and card. It's absolutely beautiful. Then we move across and you've got that expanding paste. Now, I've not seen anything like this before, um, the expanding paste. Um, we had a piece of material here a minute ago. I think it's gone back with our Leone, but basically on the material, you, you're painting it on and it was just literally expanding. Then we've got the priming, the Bonder primer. And as uh, Leone said, there's a big tub of this that we've got. Uh, on the show as well uh, if you're upcycling anything basically that'll allow uh, heaps heaps of your um, things to adhere to uh, what, uh, ceramics glass um, uh, wood uh, all sorts really so it just gives you that great uh, adhesive there to start with there's the expanding paste on the material isn't that fantastic and as she said it literally does expand and then you can sew through that it's amazing stuff I've not seen that before so I'm looking forward to that then we've got this mineral powder as well now we've decanted a little bit there for you because just see how fine it is there's actually loads of lovely little glistening gold bits in there as well because it is genuine genuine minerals so when you want to create texture on uh, your lovely mixed media like Leonie has here through one of her um, masks or stencils. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, and then here it creates uh, loads of different texture on uh, things like your keys and your MDF and uh, just creating loads of different interest there. And that's gone on with your, with your gel medium there as well. Really beautiful. Then across, talking of mediums, we have got our heavy body gel as well, which I know is uber, uber useful, not just to adhere things to, but also in terms of building up your, your mixed media there as well. Moving across, we've got the uh, primer paste as well, which is lovely. Well, I know you use your primer paste, but lovely and thick, a really thick gist gesso there. That one so that's that's a great one and I know Leone said she used it on this this is just card it actually looks like a tile doesn't it and that's using those alcohol inks we love they have such a lovely glossy finish to them don't they um, and then we've got the lovely uh, crackle here in two parts there which it kind of gives more of a sort of a, a porcelain finish as you can see here on this uh, piece of card there that's amazing isn't it because it gives you some great texture there as well so and then if we move across, we've got these now. I love the light modelling paste. I've seen that before with Leone. Uh, we've got lots of um, moles on the show, six moles. So if you love these, I know Leone's going to be working with them. That, but that's what it creates. I mean, it almost feels like lace, but it's far more malleable. And we've also got the mould for this one as well. And then, you know, wrapping that round jam jars or upcycling bottles or around your boxes. Absolutely brilliant. So I know we've got that a separate entity there at the bottom of the screen in larger pots. And then these two beauties. How good are these on glass? Your snow crystal pen and your ice crystal pen. And this is what Leone's used on the jar again here to create that lovely glistening effect. And on her uh, lovely... Um, this wee lady here, up here, you've got it. So it really gives that glossy over your stencils or on your paints there. So more icy sort of snow, glistening me snow, more sort of clear like ice with the difference between those two. So as you can see, it's an amazing bundle, isn't it? To, to get your teeth into having a go with a few of them, but good sized pots, great value, massive savings. £34.90, that's a £14 saving, two, three, four, 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 five. And I know over the next coming day and uh, 24 hours, the owner's gonna be working with as much of these as she can possible. So you can see how they can use these within your artworks and uh, projects. 20% of the stock of that bundle has already gone because we know Pentart, we know quality. I wanna move on now to the alcohol. Uh, yeah, these are proven so popular because like you, I'm sitting there watching thinking, I wanna have fun with the, the, the alcohols. Uh, these are just the alcohol inks. These are beautiful. When I looked at it, it's the glossiness of them. Isn't it? It's the intensity of the colour. It's quite surreal. That's just a normal cardboard box. Um, but look how different it looked on the glass. How amazing was it to see on the tin lid? I mean, it's quite astronomical, isn't it? That's with that lovely um, modelling paste as well. Uh, gesso. On the gesso, sorry. Yes. On the gesso, sorry. Beg your parsnips. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's quite phenomenal. So this first uh, is... is, is this is collection one. Now, what colours have we got in this one, Ross? Just take you through the collection of the colours. I know gold's in there. White apricot, white coffee, metallic bronze, metallic gold, and metallic silver in that dilutant bottle as well. Yeah. It's neck and neck at the moment. 
60% of those has already gone. I'm not sure if they're going to be here tomorrow, Leonie. I know you've got an 8 o'clock show, but that's why she's having to play now and change it all around because she knows you're loving those as much as she is. And then our second set was the take you through the colours there as well. Jade, turquoise blue, the dilutant, ginger, red wine and tangerine beautiful 15.99 two-thirds of the stock of that one have gone so just edging in front there ever so slightly 734139 do go to the website because we've got that big pot of uh, the prime in bonder on there as well if you're upcycling furniture oh we've got some fantastic acrylics on there as well we've got other uh, pent art um Oh, the deluxe paste as well. Oh, gosh, they're, they're perfect crackles. I mean, 10 99 when I saw that price, seriously, I couldn't get over it. Because that combines your fine and your micro crackle. I mean, that is a billy bargain, isn't it? Expanding paste, I can't wait to see Leonie use that. And, of course, the ever-popular, whenever it's on, as Leonie said, it always, always sells out, that light modelling paste for 10 99 Oh, there's those lovely moulds as well, yeah, to use with that modelling paste. £20.99. Uh, fantastic set there you'll get no end of use with those beautiful silicon moulds there so great to use over and over again are you good to go leone if i come back to I you i am good to go all right let's see what Where she's got up her sleeve put, next am i good to go where did i put my stamp bear with folks see <sighs> oh my life it's it was i had it in a pile that was ready Oh, I'll show you this bit and then I'll find my stamp in a minute. Honestly, I've been twitching because I'm driving myself mad. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is, and I know we all have days like this, don't we? Go on, how long, what was the last thing you put down and couldn't find? Go on, how long did it take to find? Literally half an hour this morning. I had so much to do in half an hour and I literally walked around in circles looking for things. Well, turn, just turn in circles. Car keys. Car keys. Oh, I hate keys. Uh, oh man oh. anyway expanding paste so um this is really cool stuff so there's a lot of things you can do with it you can just put it on cardstock you can put it on jess or um on um, mdf you can put it on fabric now this is what for me we're like wow really never tried anything like this on fabric so i thought let's have a little go so i've got a stencil i picked out some more stencils as well because i've got loads of stencils and i thought oh i can have a play so i've got one of the this is a stamperia um stencil because um we love stamperia now what you can do with this stuff is so get a um Get a palette knife and then literally start popping your expanding paste out. Um, I do think once you've had a go with this, you'll probably want more of this. So I would I would suggest if you like it, probably probably have a little go with this one. Um, maybe and you can add extra things into your basket. So if there's something you're really loving, then put it in your basket. What I'm doing every time I demo this, because obviously one day special, I have a few shows, so I'll probably demo it more than once. But every time I demo it, I'm going to use different fabric. And I mean, I'd like to say that was so everybody else could see how it was, how it reacts on different fabric. It's literally just so I can have a go and see how it acts on different fabric. I'm a very selfish de uh, demonstrator. It's all about me. Didn't really. So. I'm popping this on but it's nice to know it's nice to know what fabrics the other fabric i used earlier um that you saw that was actually using the uh, the fabrics from the pink um pink ink ladies um this one is it's like a linen and i think i think i think i think i'm not 100 percent sure i think this one might be from our Haley. so you craft yourself silly i think um, okay, so what I'm doing is completely covering it. So keep my stencil there. Now, what I thought this would be beautiful for, I was going to go and find my art journal with the fabric pages, but obviously I forgot. So what you want to do, first of all, you could just leave it one colour if you want to. Okay, so you just put it on, let it dry, do its thing. However, you can colour tint it, of course. Now, uh, Pentart do have... Um, they do have mediums which you can add to this. Um, so they do have um, da -da -da pigments. Uh, we haven't got the pigments on the show, so I am using different pigments. Now, what I'm not doing it is adding because I don't want to change the consistency. So I'm not adding the alcohol links because I don't know, I haven't had time to experiment, but I don't know how the alcohol will re um, react to it. 
I will experiment because I think things like that are really interesting because you find different things. Um, if you add paint to it, you're going to change the you're going to water it down. So because if you add another fluid to it, you're going to change the, the actual structure. So I don't want to do that. Um, I know the, the pigments that, that um, Pentart do, I do believe they're really, really, really strong liquid pigments. You only need literally one drop. But unfortunately, we haven't got those today. I wouldn't use the media sprays, which I know we've got because they're very watery as well. So what I'm using, we had these on yesterday. The, um, that's Crafters Workshop. They These are um, a pigment but they're a powder pigment so um, you could be you might be using your Lindy stamp gang you might be using your um, which other ones are oh, wonderful brush oils something similar okay so now this will lighten so it might be that you hardly see this but it's nice to experiment isn't it so I'm just popping this on the top I'm not really working it in heavily and I'm not going to completely cover it because we're not going to see the result of this until it's dried. So unfortunately, this will have to be for the next, possibly the next hour when we see the results of this one. But I'll just pop one colour there. I'm going to dollop another bit out and pop another colour. So I'll go in with a blue. Okay. So I'm popping quite a bit of pigment to that because it does lighten a lot. And then just scooping that up. When I did this the first time, I did actually manage to get the powder in the pot. Be careful with that. That is a proper user error. You do not want to get powder in your pot of the full pot. I mean the full pot. I told you it's been one of them days. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, because it's a stencil, obviously, I'm going to scoop this, scoop this off. And it looks solid at minute, but it won't be like that. Okay. Happy with that. So now what you do, remove that stencil. Oopsie daisy. Nice. I can't wait for that to dry, but we have to. <laughs> There's no speeding up the drying. You have to wait for that to dry. You cannot dry. It'll take about an hour, possibly. We have got a con Mind you, it's not too cool in here. Um, as usual, I'm cleaning the stencil off. Again, you don't know what kind of print this will give you. It might not give you a print. I'm going on black because when you heat it, when it's dry and you heat it, it goes white. So that's why I'm going on black card. I'm going to see what happens with that. Just pop it to one side. And this is what, as, as you well know, this is what I do. You know, I, I clean stencils just to see what happens. Let's do a layer now because we've got a little bit of excess there and then we can clean the rest of the stencil off. So as ever, just taking um, a little old thingy brush, stippling brush, clean your stencil off. Again, how many minutes? Three minutes, uh-oh. How did an hour go already? That's ridiculous. Good grief, it feels like I've only been here five minutes. Okay, so let that dry, that's mad. There were me worrying I hadn't done enough. Right, okay, the one that has dried. And I was going to do the stamp one. Right, what you do as well, you can... I'll show you that in another one. I'm going to do it properly. Okay, so this is dried. This is on fabric, this is dried. You can see how strong that colour looks. Right, so when I were doing this... I might put it on my strong. When I were doing it, I thought, oh, it's not working. Don't give up. Because all of a sudden... Look. And the nice thing is, you don't have to do it all. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just leave it. The texture on that is ridiculous. It just looks so interesting. Now, the fabric is also reacting to the heat, which you can see. So that's why the fabric is also kind of merging. It, I love this stuff. On fabric, I mean, obviously, some fabrics will not like heat at all. This doesn't really like heat, but it's quite cool because it also, it starts reacting, so it gives you even more texture. But don't, I'm not staying on it. As soon as uh, it's reacted, I'm moving off it straight away because otherwise I'll burn it. Now, how much time have I got? A minute, gutted. It's all right, we've got another hour, eight o'clock. 
so we'll be able to play with other goodies. I love, love, love um, Pentop One Day Specials because obviously there's so much stuff. And I have to say, I know our lovely Julia um, normally does the Pentop and she does an amazing job. And it was funny actually, I know she was busy today because she and me fill stuff, but I was thinking, oh no, I need to go and ask Julia loads of questions. Right, 45 seconds. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Imagine if you're a mixed media artist. Imagine if you're a textile artist and that you're then going to be sewing through that. I mean, that is fabulous. I want to. We've got media ink and um, the spritzers as well on the show. I'm definitely going to spritz over that. Um, the colour looks even better. I don't know what it looks like. On my TV, that looks a bit weird, but in real life, it looks absolutely fabulous. Please play with this. Oh, you have so much to play with. Um, please check your baskets out. We are going to be back at 8 o'clock. I'm going to have a katsu curry. Um, mm, 